Hey everyone, it's Donald. Uh, I want to go over today some um, of the leak spots and how to test for those. So as you'll see, we are pretty steady at 83, 84 uh, M tours currently. So the machine itself, I don't suspect we have any leaks. Um, however, if you do suspect, I do want to go over this stuff. So get yourself some Windex, have your freeze on, your vacuum on as low as possible. And then in turn, when we spray this, we're gonna be careful about where we spray it. For one, there's electronics in here. And two, we wanna see where that leak point possibly is. So the first place I always spray is this vacuum sensor here. So I just put a little bit of spray in this area and then we'll watch to see if we see a drastic change up or down, typically with Windex. I normally see it go down because it freezes, um, but we really do have a pretty good mTOR, so as I said, I don't expect us to kind of see any changes. I would give yourself 30 seconds to a minute between each spot you do spray, and then make sure you do pay attention because if all of a sudden you see, do see a drastic change, um, you can identify that and go back to those areas possibly where those leaks are. So we saw it change one, not a big deal. We're still currently moving down. But now what we'll do is try going in this area around the threads of the epoxy harness. Um, this epoxy harness has already had, I did it this morning, the redoing of the threads so not going to expect any drastic changes there it's pretty much as low as possible that it's going to go um, so give that a few seconds and then also this is still a little sticky from this morning but i do want to get this video out so we'll spray this in a second but not really expected any uh, drastic changes from the wiring above the epoxy harness as well. But I've already done all the other places, so it's actually okay if I get this in more areas because we know we identified the wiring itself. So not expecting any changes on that as well. If you have a good door seal, and I'm not sure if you can really see the door too much here, uh, a good door seal throughout your thing. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, I do see this one has a lot less cushion be, uh, or open gap between my prior machine. However, however, if there's a good seal between the gasket and the door, you should be in a pretty good position just as you guys are kind of seeing now. So the next place we'll check out is this hose area. So I personally sprayed the hose first all around that hose. So as you see, I didn't get any water or any Windex in this area here. So if I see a change in the, the M tours, I'm gonna be able to identify the hose is most likely our issue. Because I'm really not expecting it and I want to make this video a little shorter, I'm going to spray the next area already. So we'll spray this area where there's the threads and then we'll see a change. And then the last area, and because of the way this is really set up, it's probably going to be hard, but all of you guys are pretty tracking the drain hose where we actually, where we actually do that. So I personally just spray a bunch of Windex on that area whenever I check it. And we won't really see anything there. So, some people do like to check uh, their gasket area. Uh, some people use soap and water, some people do whatever. Um, I personally still use my Windex because after I'm done with the test, I'll actually take all this apart <coughs> wash it again and then before I do my next load so as you see our mTORs really didn't change on any of those areas I did skip an area 
So underneath, you're gonna have a drain valve underneath there. So if you spray that area nice and good, um, where it connects into the drum, uh, check that area as well. And you should see a drastic change in any of them tours like we've been talking about. And then if you're gonna check this area, I personally just spray it all with Windex. All the way around the bottom, all the way to the sides. And then once I realize there's no leaks or anything like that, then I will turn off my machine, clean up all the areas that I just sprayed with Windex. Uh, if you do have a spot that is leaky, make sure you address that. So if it's the epoxy harness wire area, then obviously we need to take care of the wire area, getting some possibly some silicone. But if it is that thread area, then, um, you know, uh, take that off, redo the Teflon, put it back on. Normally we'll see that as, a, as, as an easy fix to that area. So I'll dry up all this stuff. I'll dry up all everything here, dry up what's here. And then we'll get ready to put this machine. Well, this machine won't be back together till tomorrow because I'll do make sure I do the epoxy, um, the Felix fix on it. And then one last thing I'm currently checking too is our freeze in within the drum. Um, because this machine, as I've told you in the prior videos, this machine will not be staying with me. I'll go purchase uh, another machine, do everything else, make sure I get that one back up and running and actually try getting these out of here. So if you're in Alaska, you're buying a machine, you're welcome to bring it over to me. I don't mind doing all these testing and making videos and everything else. And if we find one that's broke, we'll get videos made and get them posted out to people. So I appreciate everything that you guys have done. You guys take care and uh, please like and subscribe our page.